if you use chat gpt like me you would want to have an app that you can install in your phone on android or ios but the thing is chat gpt doesn't have an app yet so i tried to go to app store in google play to find if there's an app for it yeah of course there's none and there are a lot of ai tools that you can see there like chat gpt but when you try them they're going to give you trial versions or they're going to pop you with a lot of ads and start to sell you with their premium services when it comes to the ai functionality right since i'm subscribed with chat gpt i don't want to subscribe to another ai tool out there using the chat gpt backbone what I want is when I open my phone, I don't want to go to a browser and type chat GPT and then start using it. I want to open it like an app. I'm going to show it to you on an iPhone and in an Android phone, right? Let's jump in, try to do it. Well, of course on iPhone, you open up the default browser, which is Safari and navigate to the website of OpenAI or chat GPT. That is chat.openai.com. Since I have an account, I'll go ahead and log in and you'll be directed to the homepage of ChatGPT. Now look for that icon that is share. You press that one and then this will pop up. You can see ChatGPT, you scroll up, then look for this add to home screen. We'll tap on it, then it will ask you to rename the kind of name of the app. So let's just place in ChatGPT. Cause go ahead and add it now that will create a shortcut in your home screen like an app so every time you want to open chat gpt just go ahead to your home screen and tap in that uh, chat gpt icon that we created earlier and you can start using it like an app though it doesn't function most with like an app kind of thing that you want but at least you have some sort of an app in your phone so let's go ahead and do this one on an Android phone. Well, of course, we will do it in Chrome. So tap on Chrome, same scenario. Let's go to uh, chat.openai.com, the homepage of ChatGPT. So now that we're here, you go to the three dots, you navigate there, then you can already see add to home screen same scenario different browser so let's just go ahead and tap on that then it's going to ask you to place a name of course we are going to type in chat gpt tap on add then one more confirmation with the right icon of course add then this will create a shortcut in your home screen so we close that one and there you go chat gpt on your phone like an app let's go ahead and try to tap this one Ta-da! we can use the chat gpt well it's like in a browser but it kind of automated the process of going to a browser right instead of going to a browser just open it like an app well i hope you have learned something from this video guys and hope to see you in my next video